up, you guys? Uh, it's been a minute. Guess what? Like, this is the second watermelon that was in a little patch, you guys. I put it in the refrigerator. Oh, man, I think I got a little frozen spot right there. But uh, it didn't get bigger than this. So I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to see if it's basically like a miniature ripe watermelon or um, what I'm going to do is open this up and see what we got. Let's do a little washy-washy on it. Let's see what's in here. You know, I'm not expecting... Um, a freaking, a right watermelon. I'm expecting like, you know, whatever. But you know what? Hey, who knows what's in here? So that's this one. Let's cut it long ways and let's see what we got going on, guys. Oh man, that just, on, guys. Oh man, that just, on, guys. Oh man, that just, you see that? Did you just see that? On, guys. That thing just split just right there. Look at that. Now I'm smiling watermelon. You're gonna see what a not like what a premature watermelon is like. Look at that. It just split right open. That was weird, huh? Put that down there. Now I already kind of know what it may look like. Because I've done this before. You might know what it's like too. So let's see. You ready? You ready? Count it down. Three, two, one. Whoa! my god oh my god it's a right miniature watermelon oh my goodness look at that mother freaker wow y'all oh my gosh we got two beautiful ripe pieces right there now we don't know what they taste like so you know what we're gonna do i'm gonna wrap this one up Wrap it up, wrap it up. You know what, hold on. I get that same Ryan wrap is crappy right now. Is the taste test. Now I see a little bit of, look at that part right there. A little bit off right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that down right there. See, you have a little bit of offness right there. And let's go ahead and just cut this one right here. So we got the black seeds. Everybody, somebody was like saying, where the black seeds at? Right there. You know what I mean? Right there. Yeah, guys, look at that. Look at that. You know, watermelon still the craze. Beautiful. All right, guys. Let's see if this one as good as the last one that I grew. You know, because that one was just like freaking. That's the best watermelon I've ever had. Now, I'm already going into this one. Like, it can't be as good as that one. But you know what? I'm always down for some homegrown watermelon right out in your backyard. Hey, listen. You can't freaking go better than that. And don't worry. I am going to be eating some of these watermelon seeds. Because that is how you freaking do it. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Listen, I'm spoiled already. But you know what? I've had worse watermelon than this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is actually pretty good. It's not the best. But this was an end piece. You know, those deer got them with my tomatoes out there. They ate a bunch of my cherry tomatoes. Like a bunch. But whatever. Mmm. A little soft on these ends. A little soft, but. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That was a good one. That was a good one. Mmm. -hmm. This section is a little bit more, you know, regular. That was the end, you know? So let's see about this. Let's see about this one. Mm. Mm hmm Yeah. Not as sweet as the other one. But still exceptionally good. Mm hmm Still not as good as the other one. The other one blew this one out of the water still. But I've had worse watermelon than this. This is actually pretty tolerable. 
I have watermelon that's not tolerable. Mm hmm. Wow. Obviously, it's tolerable. It has a sweetness to it. 